directly out of Nordling's hands. This might come as news to the gentleman, but a towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. Around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. A shame I have The gentleman will kindly dress. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes? It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Gotta be kidding. Not at all. I am mortally serious. Does the gentleman know the penalty for breaches of etiquette in the Emperor's presence? Two hundred lashes. I do not wish that upon him. So I will not let him leave until I am confident that he knows how to behave. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm, lack 
lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Northlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Imgrimi et art kerzer. Dait ben aden in karn eb marvut. Emir var emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et do orde. Avelian namen, vat gern favot. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Surila, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you are looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefu will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress.
Not so fast, Roach. Run, Roach. Someone who'd prefer not to be bothered while he's having a drink. <laughs> Hear that? We've a distinguished gentleman in our midst. Shine your boots, governor. No. Wouldn't want the grime in your hands to rub off on them. Warlord, did you hear what I heard? Go away, or I'll kill you. Damn it. Enough. <laughs> 